What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp extension tutorial for you. So before we get started, I want to say a big thank you to my newest supporter on Patreon, Drew Zaraki. Um, Patreon is the website where most of you know that you can support creators that you like on YouTube. One of the perks of being a supporter on Patreon is you get to vote on the extension that I cover every week. Well this week we voted and uh, my patrons voted on a new Extrude Tools tutorial. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so as most of you know, Extrude Tools is an extension by TIG that basically allows you to extrude different edges. So there, there's really two extrusion tool extensions that I like to use. There's Joint Push Pull by Fredo6. What Joint Push Pull does is that allows you to push pull curved surfaces or multiple surfaces. So like this, you can push pull different surfaces and make different changes and things like that using a joint push pull, but then extrude tools works more with edges. And so I've done some other tutorials about this in the past, but in this case I wanted to do a tutorial specifically about the extrude edges by vector to object tool. And so what we're going to do in this case is, first of all, I want to say a big thank you to Box over on Facebook. Um, Box has one of the biggest uh, um, SketchUp GIF pages on Facebook. I will link to that in the notes down below. Um, he put out a video and kind of reminded me that this function was even contained in Extrude Tools. So I will link to that down below. Make sure you go check that out. Make sure you follow and like his page on Facebook. Um, so what I want to talk about in this case is I want to talk about the Extrude Edges by Vector to Object. And so there's another option here called Extrude Edges by Vector. And so what that does is that'll allow you to extrude edges out into a face. So you can see how in this case I was able to extrude out this edge. And that's powerful by itself. However, what I want to do in this case, and I'm just going to thicken this using joint push pull. What I want to do in this case is I actually want to extrude these objects until they run into something and then I want them to stop. Well, that's what extrude edges by vector allows you to do, or extrude edges by vector to object. So the way that it works is when you have a number of edges, kind of like this, if you run it, then it will extrude your edges into a shape until they run into something and then it'll stop. So in this case, you can see on the underside of this building, you get those four red dots. Those four red dots indicate that this is going to extrude this until it runs into this face. And then it always gives you options to reverse the faces or explode the group. And you can kind of do what you want with that. But not only does that work with individual objects, or individual edges, it'll also work with multiple different edges. So you can see how I have a number of different squares here. Well, if I was to click on this extrude edges by vector to object, and then single click, and then move up, and then click above my roof, you can see how that's going to extrude these edges up until they run into this roof, and then it'll stop your extrusion, which when you're doing a lot of things like this, this can be very useful. But there's some other interesting applications as well. Like for example, if I was to, let's extrude this circle out a ways. Let's say I had a circle like this one and I wanted to run these objects into that circle. So in this case, what I would do, and I'm gonna make this one a little bit longer for the second part of the demonstration, but I, what I would do is I would select these edges and then when I extrude these by vector to object, so when I select these edges and then I extrude edges by vector to object, I can use this to bend an object around something like a pipe. So you can see how this will basically extrude up along the edge of this pipe. And it'll also do some interesting things if you have edges that go beyond your pipe. So let's say for example that I was to select this, whoops. And run the tool this way, you can see how what this does is this will intersect my object or run my object into this pipe here and then it will continue the edges up around it. So, and that works for more complex shapes as well. So let's say I had a circle and I was to go straight up and down with the circle. And we'll go ahead and use the soften edges to soften this face. You can see how this fairly complex um, intersection works very well with this extension. Then you could also do the same thing or if you were to extrude this up above. The 
this would continue this circle up above here. And then again, you need to get fairly good at using the soften edges tool to get rid of these extra edges. You can see how you can use this to wrap that around shapes like this pipe really easily. And then you could also use that for something like, let's say you had a shape like this one where you wanted a series of columns to run up and then uh, run along the angle of this face. You could do the same thing. You could select these extrude edges by vector to object. You can see how all of those give you kind of a red shape in here. So it's gonna ask if I wanna reverse the faces. I'll say no, explode the group. I'm gonna say no, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna soften these. So you can see how, if I look on the inside here, these now run directly along this slope inside this object. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Uh, like I said, remember to go like Boxes page on Facebook. I will link to that in the notes down below. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Do you like this extension? Do you have some cool ideas for what you could do with this function? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.